Well hey friends, today in this video I am taking you through a very candid look at one of the most disorganized spaces in my home. Basically our Monica closet if you will and that's a reference to the, um, the TV show Friends. The character on there, Monica, uh, she is like type A, really organized. But she has this closet, like absolutely filled with junk, and they call it the Monica closet. Our Monica closet is my daughter's room, and it was overwhelming. Overwhelming to me, and overwhelming to her. And um, sort of got out of control prior to Christmas. Um, her birthday is just a couple days before Christmas, but it was a mess before that. Um, and anytime if would go in and clean it would just be a disaster days later she loves to play with her toys um, she is very sentimental she keeps every scrap of anything I mean she's even asking me to keep pizza boxes because she has crafts and ideas in mind to do with the cardboard from the pizza boxes she just is very sentimental loves lots of very tiny tiny miniature items. In fact, one of my very first videos a couple years ago was how we were organizing some of her miniature items. Um, it was an overwhelming space and her birthday is so close to Christmas that during that time period she had such an influx of stuff and even though we had decluttered prior to Christmas and cleaned her room spotless, it just became an overwhelming nightmare for both of us. So and this is me taking care of her room. It is a very candid, sort of off-the-cuff video. I hadn't even planned to film at all. Um, and everything that I did was on my iPhone. And so actually, towards the end of the video, as I'm sharing with you kind of the after, uh, my camera kept cutting off and I would have to delete apps and photos and things like that so I could even finish the video. I can tell you that weeks later, because I filmed this probably about a month ago, her room still looks like it does in those final clips. Um, she has been able to maintain it so well. And we instituted the rule that when one new thing comes in, one old thing has to go out. And we've had to be really strict about that because her space was just overwhelming and it could be come very overwhelming very quickly again so I'm very proud of her for being able to maintain the system and I am embarrassed that it even got that way um, there's a lot of contributing factors to that that I guess I probably won't go into but if you have a space like this you probably know it's not just one single thing that the whole room is an explosion so anyways let's get into the video and I will share with you my Monica closet. Well hey friends, I am sitting in my daughter's room. Her room is incredibly overwhelming to me and today I'm going to go through it. I've already started um, and I'm gonna hoe it out and try and make this a functional space. My daughter has the largest room in our house. Um, she's got a big toy system as you can see here. And we have managed toys and we have managed clutter in all the areas of our home except her room. She loves stuff and she loves lots of little things, um, Legos and beads and Barbies and Shopkins and all the teeny tiny little things that you could possibly imagine. And it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to her and it's overwhelming to me and yet it just all keeps accumulating. And so I'm going through her room today and as I'm able to, I'm going to share with you what I'm doing. This is just kind of off the cuff. I was in the middle of the process and I thought, you know what, I'll just whip out my phone and I will share with you what I'm doing. So I brought this bag here um, that was in her room and I'm putting recycling in it. Um, and then this pile here is all stuff to go out of her room. So she got some band-aids um, in her stocking for Christmas. This is a bunch of art supplies. We have an art cupboard. It's really organized and it's a really great system. So there's no need for art supplies to be in her room. 
Um, and so right now I'm going through all of her doll clothes and um, doll accessories and going through pulling out what she is not playing with and not using. And I'm either gonna store it away um, and bring it out in a couple months or we're just gonna get rid of it. Um, I've started a pile over here of things that she doesn't play with that are just kind of taking up space. This bag right here is a, um, a light that needs hung in her room. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm going through, I'm going through, I'm diving in and I'm gonna make this Oh, a functional space for her. I've been dreading doing this job. I love organizing. It feeds my soul. It gets me extremely excited. Um, and it's like a calming thing for me, especially when I'm stressed out. But her room is just so utterly overwhelming to me that I just often close the door and think I can't do this because as soon as we get it cleaned, it's trashed again because she has such an influx of, um, of, gifts and things that come into the house and she's so sentimental that she hangs on to everything and it's a big deal. So I've, you can probably see her bed in the mirror there. I've already stripped the sheets. I'm going to change the sheets today. This is her vanity just filled with stuff and believe it or not, like I've already kind of went through it and those are just some things that we're going to be putting away. Um, yeah, it's a mess. It's a nightmare and it's embarrassing and it's... <laughs> it's overwhelming so we're going to take back this space today as much as we can I'm going to go until I'm done and then I'm going to revisit it later because I can't let this project become any more overwhelming to me than it already is so take you along with me and share with you my progress okay so it's about 15 20 minutes later um I'm working on clearing out my daughter's um dollhouse so she plays with this all the time and I'm just going to kind of quickly go through the little pieces, determine if anything's broken and get rid of it. Um, I've started sorting some of the bins. We did um, have systems for each of the bins and she's kept up with them. Like each bin holds different things, but as her needs has changed and as she's grown um, and accumulated more stuff, we just had Christmas as well as her birthday. Um, we just need to go through everything and get rid of some things that, um, are just uh, too much. It's just way too much. So, um, you can't play well with this amount of stuff. It's just overwhelming. So we're going to hoe this beast out. So here is the after of the, uh, dollhouse. I kept a few per furniture pieces in um, and a couple of the characters that are actually part of the dollhouse, but for the most part, I hoed everything out. We've got a lot of the little toys in here, the ones that we're keeping, and then this pile is all going. And then these are some Polly Pockets. You can't really buy Polly Pockets anymore, so we do have a system that she keeps very organized um, with Polly's but these are the pieces that need to go back away. And then she has lots of Shopkins and she plays with all these. Like this is not stuff that just is accumulating dust. She actually plays with this stuff. So um, this is her bin for Shopkins. I may pull a couple of the, I don't know, little like, I don't know what else to call them, but little furniture pieces out, like those little stacking things. I may get rid of those, um, but she does, know her Shopkins and she knows every single one that she has so I'm not getting rid of that stuff I'm just getting rid of like a lot of the little things that I know she's not playing with um, so here's where I'm at so far my little guy came in and sort of made a mess of all of my piles however I know where things are going um, I need to sort through this garbage some of the things are gonna go into the art cabinet and then the rest is going off to Goodwill, and then there's just a pile of garbage. I know which is which, just gotta deal with it. So on top of her desk, I had a picture frame that fell and broke. The colored pencils are heading into the art cabinet. I went through all of those bins and baskets and purged, and really, there's only a couple that are actually holding anything. Um, and then I went through and all of this paperwork on her bed, that's all going. Um, 
my little guy came over here and made a mess. Some of these books are going into his room as well as the cape. And in this hope chest, my dad built me this when I was um, in school. Um, I put all of the games. So this was an issue in an area that we were really struggling with because they did not fit in the IKEA Trofast system very well. So we, I opted to put them in there. She had some dress up stuff and my daughter never plays dress up ever, ever. So we, I need to get the garbage up. I still have to sweep and do all of that. Um, so this little Ikea piece, uh, it's holding her books and eventually I'm going to get the bins that go in this, but I picked this, uh, system up second hand. So yeah, I need to get the bins for it. Um, because I'd like to just tuck the books all behind the bins and kind of reduce some of the visual clutter in here. Because that's part of the problem is it just looks so cluttered because there's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, so this is what the top looks like. I gotta take care of the oils and that glass I've been using to fill up her diffuser. So then this bin here, my little guy again, he was playing in here. This is just all so real life off the cuff. So this bin used to hold stuffed animals and eventually a lot of the stuffed animals have gone into my son's room. He's kind of obsessed with stuffed animals. So these are the things that she has on hand. Um, and so what I did with this bin is she's got some pieces that she uses for like, she's got one of those 18 inch dolls, kind of like an American Girl doll. And it's got different um, scenes that came with it. So she's got like a mirror and like a bakery shelf for toilet like, cupcakes and donuts and things. Um, there's a cradle and stuff and it just was like, there's no spot for it in this room unless it went on top of the trophy system here. And I really want to keep this generally clear. So I've put everything in here. It's a lot of visual clutter at this point. So I don't know if I'm going to put like a couple pillows on top to just make it look a little prettier or what, because she doesn't really play with a lot of that stuff anymore. Um, it's just... It costs a lot of money and we've got it for now and eventually like sometimes she does play with it but it's not what she's playing with right now so again that's just for now we'll see what we end up doing with it and there is a little tent that she got for her dolls for Christmas and she does play with that however the floor space is very small here and um, this is her bed and this is the trophy system and this is really her play space so the tent was taking up a lot of room, so we needed to just kind of put it back there. So, um, and I'll show you her closet really quickly. So her closet was another problem. I mean, the system works wonderfully, and it holds everything really well. My daughter does not have a dresser. Um, she was just getting really overrun with her shoes, so I purged, um, well, just two pairs. I purged two pairs. And then I do like to line up her clothes for the week. So I'm filming on a Friday. Um, Saturday, she'll just wear whatever she wants kind of from her basket of play clothes. So I set up her outfit for Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I even have one for the following Monday. Um, I have these bas or these bags that I hang on the um, outfit and inside are shoes and underwear and socks and any hair accessories. The hair accessories I usually hang on the front of the bag um, so they don't get squished. But that solved a big problem for the shoes. She doesn't have a ton of shoes. Um, she's got one, two, three pairs that she kind of wears at school and she has this pair of sneakers at school. And then she has these two pair of like Ugg tight boots and slippers. And then the shoes behind that, let's see if I can show you, are um, some that she's gonna grow into and then summer things and a pair of boots for next year. So she doesn't have a lot of shoes, but because the space is so small, um, I just decided to put them in with you know her outfit. So they're up off the floor and it provides more space for us. So this is a quick look at her closet system. I will show a whole video dedicated to this later because um, it really does work very well for us. Um, so I just tidied it all up and hung her clothes. They're kind of all um, color coordinated with uh, dresses and skirts and things in the back with summery things um, behind because it's winter right now. So my daughter doesn't have a lot of decor on her walls. And that's been part of the struggle of this room is just finding 
a system that really works. I've got a video on my channel about some ideas that I have for it, but I'm really ready to kind of get that tackled because I want like a shelf or two, I think, up on the wall and that will hold some of these like little tchotchke things. Um, she's got like a Scentsy warmer and that's a piggy bank on top of her Trofast system, but my daughter's really into Legos. Like that is her thing right now. She loves Legos. And so she used to just have one bin for Legos and then for Christmas she got several Lego sets and she likes to put them together um, and one of them fell apart. <laughs> a couple of them actually fell apart today. She'll hate me, but she'll love to put it back together. <laughs> um, anyways, they just sit on the floor. So my hope is that um, there'll be some space in this bin that she can put them or she can put it up on here and it will be basically cleared for her. So I still need to decorate. The goal for today was really to just hoe this place out and I don't know get some semblance of order back in the space. So I'm going to take a break, I think, have some coffee and some breakfast because I don't know why I started doing this without that in my system, but I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and um, take care of all the garbage, get her bed made with fresh sheets, um, vacuum, wipe off the surfaces and um, get it ready. And I'll show you what that all looks like at the end. Okay. So here's Aubrey's room. It's my coffee on the nightstand. Um, yeah, I need to still wipe the surfaces and sweep the floor, but I'm going to give myself a break for a while because I've been working all day. So this top drawer is special stuff, and I hoed a lot of that out, um, things that she'd no longer keep. And here's just a binder, a paper that she made for her grandma and papa and some pens. The binder has paper in it. This is all of her toys for her dolls. And this is clothes and blankets for her dolls and shoes. And this bin is just a little tin magnetic thing and Etch-a-Sketch paper dolls. And then these are some beads for necklaces that she makes. And then this is a um, crystal rock kit that she got for Christmas. I do have a lid for this bin. I'll have to grab and put on. This is a stable that she got for Christmas and inside are the hay bales and the horses that came with it. And that was something that didn't have a home, um, but I cleared out enough junk that that does have a home. So in here, this is her backpack that she takes to grandma's house and inside are just a couple dress up things. So there's like a couple bags, a hat, her Santa hat, and that's it. And those are things that she actually uses. In here is Barbies and her troll dolls and a shoppy doll. Um, and that's it for kind of doll, like Barbie type dolls. And out of all of the teeny tiny little accessories, um, what is in this Barbie bin is what she has left. There's a few things still in the playhouse here. There's just a few things still left in there, but we've pared it down to that manageable amount. In here, this is the Polly Pocket stuff, and this system has always worked and stayed um, organized, so I just put all the pieces back that I found. In here is tables, chairs, cars, toilets, um, couches, whatever, like play furniture for her, like little... I don't know, accessories and like little people and stuff. Um, this is all her Shopkin stuff and some Tsum Tsums. Uh, Playmobil. And there used to be a ton more of this, so I'm not really sure where all that is. but um, And then Legos. More Legos. And then over here I've put her stuffed animals. She'll probably get some of these out because she plays with and sleeps with a lot of these little guys. Um, and in the bin is all of those large accessories. So like the cafe set and all that jazz that's all in there. The unicorn head will go on the wall. That's kind of a mounted thing. I showed you what was in here as far as the games. The poster I need to hang up. Again, I'm not sure what I'm doing with her walls yet. Little stroller. And then I showed you, I think I showed you the books. Um, again, I still want to get bins for those. I took the diffuser out of here. We just towed it around the house and I'm going to diffuse it elsewhere. Fresh sheets on the bed. Um, I added a couple more pom-poms up here. I still need to get 
some more um, to kind of center it over the bed, but also to put something instead of like the whites are too close together. They have lots of these at the Dollar Tree now. I'm hoping to find some maybe purple and some more pinks. And here's my little buddy Colt and then her desk. So we cleared a ton of stuff off of her desk and in this bin is her hair supplies. Um, I cleaned and pared this down too. These are her headbands and brushes and sprays and stuff. And then two makeup bags are in here. So when she goes to camp and stuff and needs toiletry bags. And this one has a few important things. So this is like her little calendar, like her day calendar. Um, birth certificate for her Cabbage Patch doll. These are her Valentines that are going to go to school. The bottom bin um, just has some CDs and I'm going to go through those. We don't even listen to those, but there's some that I kind of want to save. Her nightstand, um, lip chap, and some devotional books, and then her VTAC and a couple scentsy bars. And then I showed you her closet. And that is how that is looking. The top of her closet, this is just stuff that it will eventually hang on the wall. And the top is a bedding set, like a crib bedding set that we never got to use for her. So there you are. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and this very kind of raw look into some of our crazy mess spaces that we do have in our home. I love to organize. I love to keep a tidy home. I love very orderly spaces but that isn't always life and this is just the process of working through one of those spots so anyways i hope you have a really great day and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye guys